So if you're a graphic designer, you've probably wanted to take your design and put it onto a t-shirt or hoodie or sweatshirt or anything like that before. And you've probably seen online that there are thousands and thousands of options to choose from. And sometimes even with all those options, you don't always get the look that you're going for. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own t-shirt or hoodie mock-up in Adobe Photoshop 2021. <laughs> Welcome to TopSpec, your one-stop shop for tech content. And if you're new around here, we upload plenty of tech videos and tutorials, so if any of that sounds like your thing, feel free to hit that red subscribe button below. So for this specific example, I'm going to be making a hoodie mock-up. So we're going to go ahead and go to Google or whatever search engine you use and go ahead and type in blank hoodie. So let's go ahead and go to images. So obviously with Google images, you're not going to be getting the best quality images. You're kind of going to be getting stock photos and things that are a little bit uh, lower quality. But in order to ensure that you get probably like the best quality that they have on there, go ahead and sort by large for the file size. So this will give you like images that have the highest resolution possible. Uh, some obviously will look better than others. So go ahead and find one that you like. If you still can't find a hoodie or a t-shirt that you like, uh, on the internet, you can always just take a picture of your own hoodie or t-shirt if you really want a specific look or if you really want to make it as customizable as possible. Alright, so I found a hoodie design that I like. It looks like it's 1500 by 1500, which is relatively high definition. I mean, this won't be used for incredibly high detail, but it'll get the job done. So once you've found your hoodie, go ahead and save it to your computer. And then from there, we can go ahead and open up Photoshop. So for now, I'm going to create a new document and I'm going to make it 1500 by 1500 and then I'm going to go ahead and drag in our hoodie. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to be doing in Photoshop is go ahead and duplicate this background layer that's control J on your keyboard or if you're on a Mac, command J uh, and then we're going to rasterize it. So we're going to right click and press rasterize layer and then we're going to go to the quick selection tool. Um, sometimes it'll be hidden underneath the magic wand tool. So uh, that's where you find that. And then you're going to go to select subject and Photoshop's AI is pretty much just going to select the hoodie. Uh, this works really well, especially if it's on a flat background and you don't have to select it manually. Um, so from here, we're going to do control shift I or command shift I if you're on a Mac. And then we're going to press delete to simply just get rid of the background. Obviously it doesn't look like anything changed because we have our smart object behind it. So we can just hide that for now because we're just going to keep that there just that we're kind of doing some non-destructive editing in a way. Okay, so now we have our background removed. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer again. Uh, and we're going to rename this bottom one color and this top layer shadow overlay. So the reason why we're doing this is because this bottom uh, layer will be essentially just the color of the hoodie and this top layer will be a slightly um, less opaque overlay of the shadows so that way we can easily change the color and add a design to it without um, just kind of pasting it over and making it look super flat. So with this we'll get those shadows and stuff on the design and on the recolored hoodie. Okay, so the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to create a new layer, go over to the rectangle tool click and drag across the entire canvas. Uh, right now mine is set to a nice blue. Um, you can make it whatever color you want. We're gonna change it again down the line, so it really doesn't matter. As long as you don't make it a deep black because then you won't be able to see the shadows once we get to that part. So from here, we're going to click on this layer and we're going to press create clipping mask. So now that you've made that rectangle and created a clipping mask for the bottom layer, you might be wondering what happened to my color. Uh, the hoodie looks the same as it did before. How do we get that blue to pass through? So in order to do that, we're going to go to the shadow overlay layer and we're going to change the blending mode. So the blending mode that you set it to is going to vary depending on what your uh, t-shirt or hoodie looks like, what the lighting is on it, um, and a plenty of other factors. So you kind of just got to look through here and see which one looks best. Usually I go with either multiply or linear burn. Um, it's a similar, um, similar effect except linear burn I think for this one brings out the shadows a little bit better so I'm going to go with linear burn. So in order to get a little bit of extra customization to this shadow overlay layer we're going to go up into the adjustments tab and we're going to press the curves adjustment layer. 
So what this tool does is it pretty much lets you uh, mess around with the shadows and the highlights of the sp specific layer or the image and you can sort of make things look a little bit more 3D and a little bit less flat because you know the hoodie strings in this image are kind of blending into the hoodie itself so we kind of want to bring that um, apart a little bit maybe separate them from the hoodie a little bit so that's what this tool can do uh, we're going to go ahead and bring the shadows down a little bit and also bring highlights up a tad bit here without overexposing the image um, so you kind of got to play with it. it, really depends on what your image is uh, and what works best for it. So obviously this is already looking a lot better than what it did before. Uh, so this is what it looks like now and this is what it looked like before. Those hoodie strings are really popping off of the hoodie now. It definitely stands out better. It's more 3D, more crisp. Um, so from here we're going to go back into the adjustments tab. You can mess around with these a little bit more. You've also got the uh, levels adjustment layer which is similar to curves. Uh, just a little bit more limited in what you can do with it um, and for this we're actually going to go into brightness and contrast so another thing you can do is use this one and brighten it up a little bit you don't want to go too much because obviously it'll just overexpose it and make it look ridiculous um, so i'm gonna do a nice like seven you can also mess with the contrast it's all the way up and all the way down let me turn this down actually a tad bit so it's obviously looking much better now so we can go ahead and hide these adjustment layers this is what it looked like before and this is what it looks like now so a lot better from here we're going to go ahead and select these three and group them so that we don't have to mess with them again that will be the overlay of your logo okay so from here we're going to add in our design and then we can mess around with the settings a little bit see if the colors of the design are too off uh, so let's go ahead and pull that design up so for this of course i'm going to go with the top spec logo uh, you probably could have guessed that with the uh, blue colored hoodie. So we're gonna go with this logo right here um, because it's on the blue. So we're gonna copy it and I'm going to go ahead and paste it right above the blue layer. So paste a smart object, size it down a little bit, paste it on here. So obviously one thing you're going to notice is that the hoodie strings are covering up the logo. So if you're using a hoodie mock-up uh, and the hoodie strings are hanging down like this one is. Um, this is a pretty simple fix. You're basically just going to zoom in. So once you're all zoomed in, you're pretty much going to outline the hoodie strings and then you're going to duplicate them on top of everything. So that way they um, have their own layer and they're over your design. So I'm gonna go ahead and hide my design and I'm going to use this uh, lasso tool to pretty much just do a quick little rough outline of the hoodie strings and duplicate them. Okay, so I've already duplicated the first hoodie string and now I have the second one selected. So you might be confused as to which layer you're going to be duplicating these from, and this will be the shadow layer. So I'm going to duplicate the other hoodie string now and I'm going to drag it back up uh, on top of everything else. So I'm actually going to merge these layers into one. So merge layers, um, and now we're going to do the drop down and also select the um, linear burn that we had done and then from there we're going to actually duplicate it and we are going to select the entire thing and we are going to change this one to normal and then from there I'm actually going to create a new layer and we're going to go to the rectangle tool drag it over them and we're going to do create clipping mask so now these guys are the same as the bottom. All right, so this all can now be grouped. And we are actually going to put this beneath the top shadow overlay. So now it blends in a little bit more. And I'm going to show the top spec logo and look at that. The hoodie strings are now on top. Cool thing about this now too is now that you have the hoodie strings separated, if you wanted to, you could go into the group, double click on the uh, thumbnail of the layer, uh, of the colored square that's on top of the hoodie strings and you can actually individually change the hoodie string color. Obviously for the tutorial I kind of did it quickly so I'm missing a little bit of these top bits but if you really went in and you outlined everything you could do this as well. So that's about it for making a mock-up in Photoshop. So obviously like I said before you can go into the rectangle here and you can change the colors. Maybe, say maybe you wanted a gray hoodie uh, you could do that or if you wanted like a purple hoodie or a green hoodie or yellow or red or 
whatever you want you can do it if you make it white it'll be blown out because you have those additional highlights on the top so you might have to if you're doing a white hoodie lower this a little bit um, or you can mess around with the uh, adjustment layers up here to make it work a little bit better for white so that's about it for this tutorial if you like this video feel free to hit that thumbs up down below and if you really liked it feel free to hit that red subscribe button uh, we upload tech content and sometimes graphic design tutorials like this every week so if that sounds like your thing i highly recommend you join us other than that that's about it i'm connor and this is top spec we'll see you next week Bye.